Hi, welcome to part two of this Apangmo TV film on overpopulation and the words of Eric Pianka. Um, now, I've just shown you that basically there's plenty of space on this planet for everyone. There's no shortage. In fact, um, if you put everyone close together so they were standing side by side, they'd fit on the Isle of Wight. You know, there may be 6.5 billion people on this planet, but it's a big planet. Okay, it's a big, big planet. Obviously, the space here is not infinite, but there's, there's obviously, um, it's not filled up yet by any means. In fact, everyone could have a house and a garden and live in Texas. That, that one place has enough room for everyone in the world to have all those things. Um, now then, food. This is the only real um, serious concern, actually, and it's the, it's the, the, it is on the surface, it looks like a problem, you know. We have, you know, much of the, la much of the um, fertile land of the earth is covered by farms, which grow food for the population. And of course, the more people you have, the more farms you need. The seas are being overfished, etc., etc., etc. All right, oh, so that that is a serious concern. But again, there is a solution, and this is where it's, this is similar to the free energy thing, okay? Because there is a solution, but it's suppressed. In the same way, we're using Stone Age um, energy technology in this 21st century world. We're using Stone Age food production methods too. And what I mean by Stone Age is, well, maybe I shouldn't say Stone Age because actually, um, it's. it's there's a lot of evidence that primitive cultures actually had better farming methods than we do, you see. Because we've got this idea in our head that um, the kind of farms we have today, factory farms, you know, battery chickens, um, cows filled with um, hormones and antibiotics, uh, and, um, you know, the modern chemicals they put on the land, you know, pesticides, fertilisers, things like that. That is the ultimate in food production. That's the most you ever get out of, out of farms, you know. Um, that's not true, and what's more, these methods are very destructive. Um, we're experiencing erosion of topsoil, the poisoning of the environment. It, it could be that um, the disappearing bees problem is, caught, is partly caused by chemicals in the environment. We're also seeing uh, terrible animal cruelty. You know, um, intelligent creatures like pigs, which you know have the same kind of brain as you know brain power as a dog, are being kept spending their whole lives kept in pens where it's too small even to turn around and they're poisoned and they're fattened up for the slaughter, you know. Um, and all, all things, things like that, you know. Well, that's not the ultimate and best way to produce food, you know, even if it was morally right. Um, there's, um, there's a man called Francisco de Oriana. He was a sort of 16th century explorer who travelled along the River Amazon. He was the first Westerner to see the River Amazon in South America. And when he, when he sailed his boat along the river Amazon, he came across a huge civilization um, that lined the riverbanks for hundreds of miles. Millions of people lived along the banks of the river Amazon. Um, and they, they had very, very good lives. They were very, very plentiful, very, very well-fed people, um, very healthy people. And in fact, they only started getting sick when, when, France, when Oriana and his men brought diseases, which eventually wiped them out. And what amazed him was, he said, where do they get all their food? Where's all the farmland? They live in a forest. They weren't hunting and gathering. You couldn't build a civilization that big on hunting on a hunter-gatherer culture. Um, you know, these were settled people, um, civilized people. But they only had very, very small plots of land. Well, the answer is the kind that is the kind of farming methods they were using. They had invented something, they, or they created something, or they used something, which became known as terra preta, which is Portuguese for dark soil. And it's because it's black earth that, that covers some part. It still covers some parts of the Amazon. It's used today. It's incredibly fertile s soil. Now, if um, if you use terra preta, um, you can increase the yield of farmland many fold. I mean, basically, with terra preta, you can feed. You could basically feed your family from a window box. That's how how much it, how that's how fertile it is. And what's more, it doesn't erode with time. You treat it properly, you don't put chemicals on it. You use natu you know, natural organic farming methods and that terra preta will last you virtually indefinitely. You know. um, it's, and um, there's things, if you heard of Ormus, you know, white powder gold, things like that, I suspect the terra preta may well be or Ormus based. The question is, why aren't we using these things today? That's a good question. And um, I suspect the Illuminati are actually keeping this secret from us. Um, like they are the free energy thing. And the reason they're doing that, well, it's I think because they want a lower population. They, they want to reduce the population. Now, 
Now, well, you've heard many, many videos about about population reduction agendas and things like that. Now, this is a serious concern. I mean, if you see, like, vaccines, I mean, you've got Bill Gates talking about vaccines. He's another big power broker. He's another of these new eco-warriors, you know. He believes in the overpopulation myth. He believes in global warming and he's rich and powerful. That's a dangerous combination. Now, he talks about vaccines. He made a speech when he mentioned vaccines. It sort of slipped out accidentally. He then covered it up and said, well, I didn't mean it like that, you know, as people do. Um, now, you, you, you may have heard of Jane Burgermeister as well and the swine flu conspiracy. You know, you put those two together and it's a very, and, and a, it puts, it fits like a terrible, terrible jigsaw. Um, the Illuminati want a lower population of the earth for their, for their new world order. And then the thing is, the thing about it is they, they want it because for power and control. They know that this, this overpopulation thing is a load of crap as much as I do. But they, are, they will recruit people like Pianka. I mean, you watch that video I told you about with Pianka, and you will see that how, how someone like him could be co-opted co into joining a depopulation agenda. Not because he's an evil man, or he's in, the, he's in the Illuminati, or he wants the New World Order, but because he believes this overpopulation shit. And he will join that because he believes it's the only way. He's, because of his pessimism and his desperation, he will join an agenda to wipe out 95% of the people on the planet because he thinks that's the only way you can save the earth. It has to be done. It's justified. So do you see what a dangerous delusion overpopulation is? You know, people may ask, where's the harm? What's, what's wrong with people caring about the environment? Well, that's what's wrong with it. And so this is why it's so important to expose this. And, you know, I take my hats off to people like Jane Burgermeister and all the, all the rest of you guys who've been making videos on this subject. <clears throat> oh, that's it. Thanks for watching Panwo TV. Hospital Porters, pride and dignity, stop the New World Order.